Hi everyone. Well, um, so this video is again going to be a little different. You know, the past few times, you know, this whole past week, I've been just trying new things. Um, generally trying to get out of my comfort zone and spend time practicing. Well, what I decided to do for this time was go through a bunch of my files where I've just tried making things mostly while noodling around, um, you know, in meetings and things like that where I kind of need to stim for concentration. So I write little riffs and mess around with things and try stuff. And so what this video is going to be is me playing a lot of those pieces that I think work. Um, some of it's, you know, uh, it's all sort of different styles and tempos and there's occasionally some tricks that I think are kind of cool. Um, examples of custom functions I wrote. Um, and I'll probably point those out along the way. But uh, other than that, I'll just kind of get started. So this is kind of the first one I want to explain, which is, um, this is from a thing I did of trying to do randomly generated melodies, like semi-random, so they would like return to the same riff. So I wrote a bunch of helper functions to like take, um, like use binary to generate patterns that were useful for numbers, not just, uh, not just the first struct and all sorts of things like that. And then uh, with this variance function, which kind of, you know, randomly, um, you know, moves things up and down in a kind of a nice controlled patterned way. And then a wrap notes function, which keeps things kind of within a range, but uh, you, can, you can pattern the upper and lower ranges before the wrapping.
And this one I actually want to explain slightly because it involves a couple of tricks that I like and, and want to popularize a bit. Um, so, you know, I love the super piano synth. And I think I'm not bad at getting good sounds out of it. And one of the, the tricks for that is, you know, you turn the sustain up, uh, you turn the gain down, you shape to give it more of the little bit of like, it gives it almost a slightly more realistic sound, like a real piano. And then, um, then what we're doing here is that we're using a, a randomly generated melody, except uh, we are also putting a slower, you know, octave lower part that we offset just just a little bit. And so that's it kinda has a good effect. And this one of my this one of my favorite like piano riffs I've done.
So that's almost a half hour of just little tiny snippets of beats and tunes and experiments that I think actually went kind of well. So I think I'll leave it there for tonight and, um, you know, tune in tomorrow for the next uh, Title Cycles practice video. We'll probably be doing maybe a little bit of coding and a little bit of music. Um, I have some ideas for weird functions involving um, using the randomness monad to try and like randomly select samples and then using some silliness to um, splice together mini notation syntax with those um, randomly selected samples and just I think it could be like a fun performance thing and I'll probably start that tomorrow and then also um, you know try making try making some some fun beats so until then take care